Now the latest in campaign 2016 and what's being called an act of political terrorism in the state of North Carolina. So here's what happened. A Republican Party office in that state vandalized and torched over the weekend. Now we're learning more about the investigation and what the presidential candidates are saying about it. I'm in a news reporter Todd Wallace live in our newsroom with more coverage now. And Danielle and Patrick, a spokesman for the North Carolina Republican Party, says despite Saturday night's attacks, they're not going anywhere. Check out the video. The GOP headquarters for Orange County is burned and vandalized. Police say a bottle of flammable substance was thrown into the window of the office. The flames burned a couch, political signs, and damaged the interior of the building. And the vandal or vandals also wrote these disturbing words, Nazi Republicans get out of town or else. The North Carolina Republican Party chairman says he has spent several hours and days in this very office that is now no longer usable. That sofa that you see in there, this charred, I have taken a nap on that sofa many a day. Many a time I've laid down and taken a nap just to get up and then work again for several more hours. They have tried to intimidate us, but we will be here. Hillary Clinton took to Twitter writing, the attack on the Orange County headquarters office is hor horrific and unacceptable. Very grateful that everyone is safe. Donald Trump, however, had a different interpretation when he tweeted this, animals representing Hillary Clinton and Democrats in North Carolina just firebombed our office in Orange County because he says we are winning. As Clinton mentioned in her tweet, thankfully no one was injured and no one was actually in the office at the time of the attack. And so far this morning, police have not identified any suspects. Reporting live in the newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.